What's up, guys and girls? It's Josh, joshbyrogers.com, JB Designs, JB, all the good stuff. Uh, it is Artist Weekly Update time again. We are on Artist Weekly Update number 12. It is September 12th of uh, 2018. Uh, can't believe we've already made it to 12. And uh, I think I've done three in a row without uh, missing one. So, so far, so good. Um, so... First thing is, uh, if you're following me on social media, you may have noticed that uh, I talked, I think I talked last week, or I've been posting about having a new, uh, getting some new stuff for the live stream, a light, a mic, and a nice stand. The stand is still on hold currently, Currently, it's um, hopefully we'll be here sometime next week. Hey Andy, how's it going? Um, but as you can't tell, I actually have the light. The light is currently on. Here's the big difference between the two. That is with the light off. That is with the light on. Currently I have the, uh, it came, if you didn't see the video I posted a couple of days ago, uh, there comes with two different, uh, color covers. One is clear. The other one's gold, uh, or like a, uh, yeah, I guess a gold would really work for it. Um, I think it looks a lot nicer, a lot clearer. So, and it's not so bright. It kind of tones down so it doesn't kill my eyes so much. Um, but yeah, a couple of people have asked why I am buying this stuff and doing this up. A couple of people are like, oh, I like it, you know, with the, you know, it a little rough. I'm just trying to go a little bit more professional. I'm hoping to make this youtube uh, and my twitch as well um work for me some more uh, be it uh seeing other people or getting other people to see it to get into conventions or uh get my artwork in new and interesting places get on podcasts uh be a part of other uh live shows or whatever i can get into i just i'm trying to get thank you very much um i'm trying to get uh just a little bit more professional looking uh and a little bit better sound um if you can't tell i still sound like my normal self uh because the mic that i purchased i was not aware that for android phones you had to buy this special adapter cord that it would plug into the phone uh with one cord and then it splits it into two and one is for microphone the other one is for uh like headphones and with a lot of the Android phones, you can plug in a mic like this one that I have here that I purchased, but it will only view it as a uh, headphones. So I purchased those, but they will not that cord will not be in until tomorrow. But uh, I think this weekend, because I still have a bunch of fan questions. Um, I still have a bunch of fan questions that uh, I have. So I may do a small video sometime this weekend and answer some of the other fan questions and test out the mic so hopefully it is uh, i get that cord tomorrow and it's working properly so that may be tomorrow night it may be sunday it just depends on how the weekend goes um but yeah so just trying to get a little bit more professional looking a little bit better on things and uh getting stuff going uh in a better direction so as always, uh, every week I try to show off what uh, I've either finished this week or working on in the upcoming week. Uh, this week has been very busy between uh, my day job and also uh, trying to figure out some of this stuff on here. Uh, yeah, Andy, Hell in a Cell is this Sunday. It is a very busy weekend. Uh, I have the Tom and Dan charity event on Saturday, which I'll talk about more in a little bit. And then... Uh, WWE Hell in the Cell is Sunday, so I will be watching that. Can't wait for that. It's going to be uh, hopefully a good pay-per-view. <clears throat> but yeah, back to what I've been working on. Again, a very busy week, very crazy uh, between work, trying to get some of this stuff done, and some personal life stuff that I've been trying to get in order. Uh, I have not been able to work too much on artwork, but I did finish two mini canvases. I showed these off, I believe, in the last video. Uh, they were barely finished. But these two are now done. You've got Sleeping Beauty and Prince Charming. Uh, these are ready to go. I just need to uh, sign them and put the um, varnish spray on them. Excuse me. And um, they'll be ready to ship out here soon. So yeah, that's the only thing. I, the only two things I finished. Thanks, Andy. 
Uh, the only thing, two things I finished um, this week. Um, I still have the Lady Thor in progress, the commission painting. Uh, trying to get that one in my head a little bit more. i got to find some more reference photos uh, and actually have time to look for reference photos. So hopefully that will be in the works here soon. Um, so I decided I've been doing a bunch of commissions. And I love doing commissions. I love that people want a specific item from me and want to you know, spend their money on me. Um, but it kind of messes with my creativity a little bit. I really like just doing whatever I want whenever I feel like it. That's part of the really nice thing about being an artist and doing what I do is to be able to uh, just do what's what's in the mood for me or what's, uh, you know, what's really just been gnawing at me or, you know, things of that nature. So I am, uh, I decided I'm going to work on a side painting for the time being and it's going to be one of my fairy paintings. Uh, you can see one of my fairy paintings back here. This is the punk fairy. I'll show her a little bit closer here in a little bit. But the one I'm going to be working on within the next week or so is this one right here. Uh, I haven't figured out what her theme is or color yet, but I'm actually working with Bree Bree Cosplay. Uh, I will post her uh, Facebook page down below so you can find that. Uh, but she's a local cosplayer here in Orlando. She hangs out with uh, the Kitchen Killers a lot. And, uh, I, you know, she's at all kinds of different conventions and everything. Uh, I talked to her. I think I got this drawn out like months ago, two, three months ago. Um, and it was, uh, I got busy with a bunch of other stuff, the Tom and Dan painting. And I think I actually drew this out all before the, uh, those, the two conventions I did um, and just lost track. So I'm going to get back into this one. I've really been wanting to do a fairy for a while. Uh, and this is one of two that I have sitting around. So uh, it's a nice little fairy sitting on a, sw a swing above uh, like a little pond. So she will be in the works here soon. I've been thinking blue, maybe a purplish. I'm not sure. Still putzing around with the ideas. But I think I may start up on this one. And uh, so, yeah. Um... Oh, there is a question. Terry asks, with commissions, do you ask the customers if you can make prints of the pieces? Yes, uh, I have made several pieces into prints, um, including the Doctor Strange. Um, oh, there's an ant on my table. Yuck. Uh, I've done Doctor Strange. I've done, yeah, I've done quite a few. There's some where people really want them, and I've just, I wanted to keep it special, and some people have wanted to keep it special. Other people, uh, Mo uh, a lot of people most of the time are very cool like the doctor strange one came out way better than i thought it would uh and i'm like yeah a lot of people were into it so i asked the uh because it was actually a christmas gift for somebody they got um i made them a gift certificate because sometimes i can't uh you know i paint in the when i'm in the mood for things so i can't go and make something right away or in the amount of time so i made that person a uh a gift certificate to give to the person on christmas and then I got the painting to them when I was fin or whenever I got it finished, which I think was like a couple months later. But uh, yeah, it's um, you know I, I I usually ask permission and say, hey, is it all right if I make a print of your out of your painting? A lot of people are digging it, and yeah, they usually give me permission. So thanks for asking, Terry. Um, so yeah, uh, do, 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 do. What's next? Oh, this weekend. Uh, it is finally happening. Uh, I know it's backwards here, but the Tom and Dan Charity Foot Golf Tournament is this weekend. Um, I've been busy getting all the stuff done, uh, getting all the prints made, signing all the prints, numbering them. And uh, these ones are actually specialty ones. Uh, I'm going to give one to Tom and Dan each. Uh, for them for them to keep and Sam who is part of semantics uh, So they have one of the prints and then uh, As of right now, we're up to two hundred and seventy dollars total in print sales We're going to uh, Yellow brick road So that's really cool. I still have about 24 prints to sell I, I did a little bit a uh, little post this afternoon trying to get some more online people to buy. I think someone's buying tomorrow and then I'll have another 20 some to sell at the show or at the event itself on Saturday. And then of course the painting will be up for auction. So I may uh, Sunday if I get all the news and see what everything sells for, maybe I'll do a quick little mini update if everything goes well. 
uh, test the mic and let you guys know how the foot golf event went. Uh, if any BDMs or anybody is watching that is coming to the event, um, you can see the basket sitting back here. Here's another one. So on top of the giant painting that I've donated and the print sale, the prints, I'm doing, uh, I did these last year. They're art baskets. They're filled with uh, different artwork of mine, uh, including, here, I'll bring you guys a little bit closer. So uh, you've got two framed prints. One is Harley Quinn. The other one is uh, a Tom and Dan print. Uh, in one basket, it's going to be the number one print out of 50. And then the second basket is going to be the number two print out of 50. And then I also added in uh, five different mini prints, a couple of like, you know, comic book or anime ones, and then a uh, one of my fairies. And then each one has uh, an extra print. Uh, this one has Stitch, and the other one has TMNT and the Batman print. Last year, each basket went for, I think, almost $300 each. So hopefully that will be the same again this year. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how everything goes. I'm really excited. I have to get up at 5 in the morning so I can get to the, uh, the Disney golf place where the charity event is going to happen uh, between 6 and 7. So that will be fun, uh, especially trying to wake up my wife. She is not a big morning fan, so I pretty much... To like wake her up and shove her in the car and get her coffee and we'll be good to go but yeah that uh that is happening saturday so wish wish us everybody luck trying to get you know as much money for yellow brick road as we can um and you can always uh donate or get more information on yellow brick road by going to ybrf.org or just type in yellow brick road orlando and you should be able to find it easily uh yeah that's right So, oh, I forgot to grab them. One second. So if you guys have been watching, or uh, I can't remember if I teased it. I might have teased it on the last episode, uh, but I've also teased it on social media. I am doing a giveaway. Uh, it is going to be for people that are uh, subscribed to this channel only. If you are subscribing to this channel, uh, you will be a part of the giveaway. The, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get 100 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Um, once I get the 100 subscribers, I will get everybody that's in the subscription list. I will put them all into a list and have a random number pick. And that person will win a, uh, a group of mini prints. So, uh, and the reason I'm trying, number one, I'm trying to build up the, you know, get the page going, get things you know noticed get more people watching uh try to get the name out there more and once you i found out once you hit 100 subscribers you get uh you get to do your own um url so i could finally do youtube.com slash josh bauer artist or jb designs i don't know which one it's going to be yet i got to see what's available but it'll be something that along that lines but it'll make it a lot easier for me to share my page and tell people how to get there instead of you know, backslash, blah, 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 subscriber, blah. So if you are a subscriber to this page and you think you know somebody that will be interested in checking out my page, checking out my artwork, want to check out the Artist Weekly updates, please invite them. And the quicker this gets, to, this page gets to 100 watch or 100 subscribers, the quicker the, um, uh, da, 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 the giveaway will be. So you're probably wondering what I'm getting, giving away. Well, it's uh, one, two three four five six seven different prints uh there are mini prints they're not the traditional size ones these were actually a group of test prints when uh we were trying out some new paper at my shop that where i get all my prints um so there's going to be a whole bunch of different ones uh there is vegeta uh this is uh the dr strange i was talking about just a minute ago We've got the new TMNT print with messy streak style. And then I actually have uh, two Catwoman prints. I ended up going with this one. I had to test the colors because the computer can look a certain way. And then when you send it to print, it'll look an entirely different way. And it's very, uh, very hard sometimes to get the colors right. 
So I ended up going with the slightly brighter one because this was just a little too dark for my taste. I'll get both of those. The sizes are going to be weird. Um, I will tell you that now. You get uh, Jason Voorhees one. This is like actually my only horror film inspired uh, print at the moment. I'm not a big uh, horror film, slasher film fan. Uh, I don't really like getting scared. I don't like blood, guts, and gore. Uh, so, yeah, I don't do too much. I want to do a little bit more here and there, but uh, Jason's mask isn't too bad. I put a little bit of blood and a little bit of nastiness in there. But uh, that'll be one print. And then the very last one, this is the only one of this size of this print in existence. It is a uh, mini print of Stitch City. Um, the all, all throughout here are 20 different hidden Disney Easter eggs. You can actually go and see all the, if you go scroll down in my videos, there's, uh, I have a video of showing off every single hidden Easter egg. Um, but yeah, this is going to be all part of these. All of these will be a part of the giveaway. So again, if you're already a subscriber, you're good to go. You're great. You'll be a part of the list. Uh, if Right now, I am at 67 subscribers. I actually built up the uh, last couple weeks. I've been sharing it a little bit here and there, and some other people have been joining. And uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. But uh, we need to get to 100. So uh, right now at 67, let, you know, if we could get this going in a week, that would be great. But as soon as I hit 100, I will do a special video showing off who's the winner um, so everybody knows. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Terry wrote, Wow, well, great idea putting the fairy in too. Might get whoever is lucky enough to buy the art basket to collect the entire fairy series. Yeah. So, I love doing the, the baskets. Uh, you know, it's just a great way for me to um, help out with my artwork. Uh, it's, you know, it it's not too expensive for me to put something together like this. Uh, that can bring in an easy, uh, a good amount of money. Uh, I was very surprised last year when uh, each basket went for almost $300 each. I mean, that was $600 right there, and it only takes $1,000 to build one of the um, uh, wagons for the kids for the charity. So just with my two art baskets alone, they, they were almost able to build one uh, uh, wagon. So... Yeah, it's uh, and then I, you know, I do take a little bit of advantage because you never know who's going to be at these things, who, what they like, what they're interested in. Um, so I try to make a basket that is anybody can relate to. Or if somebody wants one thing, a couple people can go together and then they can pick what they want. Um, but yeah, I like to. I also really like to give a wide variety of my artwork into this. So if somebody does get this, they go, oh well, he does anime, he does comic book stuff. Oh, he does fairies too. You know, there's so many different people, so many likes and tastes and all that good stuff. So you never know who's going to get a hold of the basket. Um, speaking of which, is talking about the fairies. I don't think I have shown the punk fairy on this YouTube channel yet. I need to start keeping track of who I've shared and haven't shared. Uh, but the punk fairy is... Um, I worked with a cosplayer on uh, YouTube. I cannot remember her YouTube... Or not YouTube, uh, Instagram. I can't remember her Instagram name at the moment. Um, but you can always hop on to uh, Instagram at jbauerart, and uh, I post and make sure to tag uh, all the cosplayers as much as possible. So just feel free to look there. But yeah, I wanted to do a green one. I had green stuck in my head because I believe she had... No, she had pink hair at the time. But I was doing a pink fairy. She was originally going to be that. And I was just not feeling the pink for her. So I turned her green, uh, changed her outfit all to green and everything, and then added the tattoos. Uh... You know, this is actually a fairy that is tattooed onto her arm. It's got a little bit of wings and little colors. And then she's got like, you know, a little bit of fairy dust going up here. I think I added the glove. Got piercings, you know, throughout the different spots. This painting is available for sale if you really like it. It's 175 plus shipping or I can meet you if you're in the Central Florida area. Uh, I also have prints. Like I've said before, and you can get prints at jbdesigns.storemp.com. Again, all the links will be uh, down below. Uh, I'm making sure once the video is up, it takes a minute for it to upload as a regular video. And then I add everything in. So um, you can find all that below. I have, I've talked about it before. I have.
different fairies and I'm working on adding more. If there's a specific fairy style or a fairy that you would like, uh, please message me and we can work out something. Uh, I would love to add more ideas or more things to my collection. So with that, um, we're doing pretty good on time. I think I've talked faster and haven't said um as much. I'm trying to fix that one still. <clears throat> I'm trying to find my uh, fan question. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't grab the um, the case, um, but I bought the new Spider-Man game, the Amazing Spider-Man, or I think it's just uh, Marvel's Spider-Man, or I can't remember the, but the new Spider-Man game that came out uh, just last week. I bought that. I spent last weekend, both Friday and Saturday night, ignoring artwork and playing that for six hours straight each night, I believe. I have to say, uh, it is a awesome game. It is very fun to play. Uh, if you're if you're interested on what it is, it's almost like Spider-Man meets Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it's done very well. This uh, just the swinging alone. It's realistic and it's really fun and it's very easy to control. It's not uh, a mess. Um, oh, I did not know the Ghostbusters firehouse is in there. I will have to look for it. Thank you, Terry, for uh, letting me know. I did find Avengers Tower. Um, I found uh, there's another one in there. You'll have to look it up, but it's uh, it's the sad marriage proposal. There's a uh, I don't know if anybody's seen it. Um, you can type it up for all the information, but I guess. There was uh, somebody messaged the company that makes made the Spider-Man game, asking if they could hide a marriage proposal into the game, and uh, they're like, "Sure, can you wait until the game comes out?" Oh yeah, we've been together five years. Blah blah blah. Uh, we'll, you know, we've got time. And uh, so by the time the game comes out, the girlfriend left him for his brother, I believe, and uh, she even said that the you know, putting the marriage proposal in the game was uh, lame or not the way she would want to be proposed to. So it's it's very sad, uh, but funny. <laughs> and uh, I actually asked my wife because I was I was like, if I would have done something now, because she's not a gamer. I'm a little bit more of a gamer. Uh, I'm more of an artist than a gamer anymore. I was really into gaming when I was a kid. But I asked my wife, I'm like, would you think that was cool or would you be interested in it? Or, you know. She goes, actually, if you got my name into a video game, that would be pretty badass. I'm like, okay, cool. So it wasn't like a, yeah, you, I don't think that was the girl for him. If she was, like, if he's that into gaming and she thought it was dumb, it's not the girl for you. So it's probably ends for the best. But, um, yeah, the the Spider-Man game, I'm not good with reviews. Um, maybe I'll do a review later. But uh, I've only made it so far because I've only been able to play a couple of nights. But it is a phenomenal game. It's fantastic. The gameplay, the... Sorry about that, guys. I got kicked off for a second. Um, but yeah, the, the Spider-Man game is a phenomenal game. It's very fun to play. Uh, I've only made it so far into the storyline. Yes, he did have a very lucky escape. Um, but it's it's it reminds me a lot of uh, Batman Arkham City. Uh, I do get messed up a little bit when I'm playing. Um, because I believe, like, when I would play the Batman game, uh, Triangle think was um it kind of works the same in both games but not exactly as batman so i keep messing up and getting my butt kicked <laughs> instead of i keep hitting the wrong buttons because i think i'm playing the batman game but the graphics are great uh it's a lot of fun i've been i've been mostly just messing around through the city playing uh, doing a little the side story things uh but very fun to play and i definitely recommend buying it if you're a spider-man game i have to say it's the best spider-man game that has been out to date uh, the only one that comes close to it was uh, the Web of Shadows one. And that just had a really cool storyline. And it was very easy to, uh, to play and fight. Uh, but it, this one blows it out of the water. So, fan questions. Fan, 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 fan. Um, oh, we'll go with Andy's. Uh, one of Andy's questions. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, well, let's go with your first one, Andy. We'll go with what is your favorite food? That one is very hard to uh, choose. I I love food. Um, I'm a little picky on food, but I am very I, I love food. 
I think I've said before, my wife and I usually go on conventions or trips because we like to go to new places and eat, try different local uh, pubs, excuse me, restaurants and things of that nature. We love checking out uh, local eateries. Um, so I'm a big fan of food. Uh, I think if I had to pick something right off the top of my head, my favorite food is pizza. Um, pizza is my go-to food. Uh, it Usually if we're at a convention and the show's going bad, I automatically want pizza. It's my, you know, my pick me up, feel better food, uh, you know, makes me happy. Uh, I always love pizza too, cause uh, people always buy it randomly. Like if you're at a party, there's always pizza. Or if you're, um, if you help somebody move, they tend to buy you pizza. I was at a, uh, this is when I was hanging out with some people, but uh, we were at a hookah shop and uh, we bought like a certain specific, like, you know, it was a pricier hookah thing like because it was actually a hookah like you sat down and smoked and hung out and uh so we spent so much and then all of a sudden the owner of the place comes down it comes in with a giant pizza and sets it down in the middle of the I'm like we didn't order that the guy's like oh no this comes with you know as a thank you for spending your money i buy the people a pizza i'm like oh my god it's free random pizza it's the best the free random pizza that you're not expecting is like the best tasting pizza so yeah, pizza is a uh, is my ultimate favorite food. Um, I also, uh, if we're talking snacks, I love uh, like regular plain chips and onion dip. That's a good one. Uh, my favorite candy is Reese's. I am, oh, I actually have a bag of Reese's uh, in the freezer, the pumpkin ones. They're little baby ones though, it's kind of sad. Uh, but they are in the freezer, and I love eating them right out of the freezer. I got to let them warm up just a little bit because they'll break your teeth if you don't. Uh, but uh, Reese's are my go-to uh, treat. And Oreos. Between the two. I jump between the two. I'll either have a pack of Oreos sitting around or a bag of Reese's in the freezer uh, for any minute. Uh, da -da 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 All right. And then uh, the next question will go with Stacy D from... Uh, my facebook page and if you uh are following me uh or if you want to follow me yeah andy pizza does do the body good um if you want to follow me on facebook uh it's uh jb designs and designs is d-e-z-i-g-n-s um if you want to follow me on instagram it's jbauer art um and the easiest way to find all of this is just joshbauerartist.com and bauer is b-a-u-e-r i will put all the links below as always um Make sure to follow, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, but Stacy D asks from Facebook, what is your absolute favorite color? Um, uh, somebody else, um, one of my fans, Dan, pointed it out from watching all the videos. Uh, it, I actually have a slightly lighter shirt, but my favorite color is black. I, I love black. Um, most of the shirts I own are black, which sucks when you're in Florida. Uh, if you can't tell, a good majority of my hats are black. Um, Black just goes with anything. It's the thing that looks best on me. Um, I just, I really like dark colors. I really like black. I, I don't know why. I think my second favorite color, almost a tie to black, would be uh, red. Uh, a little bit darker red, but a red. Those are my two favorite colors. Um, and I'll knock out another one. Let's do another one from Andy. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, Andy asks, and he asked on the Facebook page because he follows me. Uh, I think he's even friends with me on Facebook, if I remember correctly. I can't, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure we're friends, Andy. Uh, Andy asks, do you like the Funko Pop culture figures? Uh, I do. I, I really like them. I love the design of them. Uh, if you cannot see... Here, I'll take you over there real quick. Ignore the uh, disgusting, disgusting, messy room. Uh, it's an art cave, so it is always a mess. Let's see. There we go. So I actually have a small collection of the Funko Pop characters. I just got all the gargoyles, um, gargoyles, and when I was at Tampa Bay Comic Con, one of the booths by me had, uh, the entire collection. So I got that, you know, I, I snagged it as soon as I could. And then I've gotten a few here and there from gifts from my wife. Uh, I'm a big wrestling fan, so I have Kevin Owens, 
Simba, the brain. This one is my ultimate favorite. This is actually, wasn't the first one I got, but this is one that I actually like seeked out a lot. Um, I, I'm a huge Stitch fan. And especially, you don't get to see Stitch with all uh, four arms out all the time and the guns. So I thought that one was really cool. I got Rafiki, Batman Beyond, and Reptar. Reptar, Rafiki, and Simba actually came from, um, we were, where was it? Savannah, Savannah Comic Con, or Savannah Mega Comic Con. I can't remember how, it, it was one of these conventions in Savannah. Um, but the booth right across the aisle from us had this giant tower of uh, Funko Pops. And the uh, one side was like ones that you could buy. The other side, they had one of those old school uh, machines that you put a quarter in and twist it. And it pops out, you know, whatever, like candy or whatever. Well, they put in uh, little slips of paper with numbers, a letter and a number. And what like if you got A6, you would get that uh, Funko Pop. So it was kind of a fun little game. And we sat there and watched the thing whole, the whole weekend. And uh, I only made, you know, so much money. So I'm like, ah. I made a little bit of a profit. And I, I looked at my wife. I'm like, is it just me or you've been, di been dying to play that game this whole time? She goes, oh, my God, yes. So, like, right before we packed up and, or we were finished packing up and leaving, we went over to the guys and uh, uh, played. Game and uh, I ended up winning those ones uh, but it was really cool like if I see those guys again I will probably pay the money to play again because they did you could buy one for so much or buy three plays for a, you know a little bit more uh, but it was really cool but yeah I am a big fan of the Funko Pops I try I have a collection of a bunch of stuff I may have to if I have a night alone uh, one night I'll show you guys my um uh, I have a WWE, or I have a wrestling uh, action figure collection. Uh, it takes up almost an entire bar of different... Some of them are signed, some of them are not. Uh, I've got all kinds of different ones between TNA and WWE. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so I've had that collection. If you haven't noticed, I have a giant collection of artwork from all of my friends that I've bought or trade with. And I have a little bit of an addictive personality, so I've tried to stay away from the Funko Pops as, as much as I can. There's a ton of them, and they're all amazing. They all look great, but I have nowhere to put them. And I, you know, I'm a starving artist, so I need to buy canvases and paint and stuff and not get the Funko thing. I will accept them as gifts if, you know, I've gotten a couple for birthdays and Christmas and stuff. Um, I think the Batman Beyond was actually a birthday one. So, yeah, uh, I love them. Just... Try not to collect a ton of them or spend a ton of money on them. Um, as an artist and a, and a vendor at shows and at conventions, they're not my favorite because I've seen people walk out with two, two, three giant bags full of those and they're not buying any artwork, including my own. Uh, so I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship on that end just because they are pretty affordable and they're very collectible right now. Um, but if, like... Uh, I was at one show, I think it was Megacon a couple years back, and right across the, uh, right across the aisle was a giant Funko Pop thing. I mean, it was huge. It was taller than my room and just, just took up like three booths worth of room. And everybody was focused on that and not checking out my art or the artist next to me. And, uh, so it gets a little rough there. Um, but when I'm not at a convention, I love them. Uh, and I actually just, if you haven't seen it yet, the uh, the Netflix um, documentary is really cool. Uh, I, I didn't realize, I've seen their stuff, you know, from when I was younger. They had their original bobbleheads and stuff, and I've had a couple of them. I never knew that those two were the same company, the guys that make the, the what they are now and what they made back then. So it was really cool watching how they built up and how they got bigger and grew and grew and where they're going and what's going on now. If you haven't seen that one, uh, check it out on Netflix. It's a really cool watch. Uh, Terry, I had a Jeff Hardy ask my mom could he buy my wrestling figures on WWE. We're in Belfast. She told him there's no chance I'd sell them. Ha! That's very cool. Jeff Hardy is actually one of my uh, favorite wrestlers. Uh, I got to meet him when he was in TNA when he like was 
in there at one point uh, when like Hogan was uh, involved in TNA. They used to do here in Universal Studios. They did uh, VIP weekends uh, for their pay per views, and you could go in and hang out. And uh, they they would have it above. Uh, there was like a NASCAR restaurant, and there was a bar up top with a bunch of video games. And they would have it where you could go in as the VIP, and then they would have the wrestlers there, and they would sign stuff and hang out and everything. Well, I didn't realize you could bring your own stuff and have them sign whatever. I'm used. I was used to how WWE rolls, and it's like you can only have this and this and this. Well, TNA, they were just hanging out with everybody. They had, like, people formed little lines and little groups, and they would BS with you for a little bit, take pictures. So I got to meet Jeff Hardy there. I got to meet a bunch of wrestlers, and I even got to play video games with the uh, the Young Bucks, and that was when they were just in TNA and not, you know, in New Japan doing what they're doing now. But uh, it was really cool. And then I got to see, it was James Storm and somebody else um, doing uh, air hockey together. And uh, they, oh, it was James Storm and Abyss, I think. And they were going at each other with air hockey and everybody was watching around them. Uh, those were really cool. I missed those VIP events. Um, but yeah, so as always, make sure to hit up joshbauerartist.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the good stuff. Uh, share my work. Uh, there was a couple people, uh, Terry, he, uh, yes, Andy, Ken, the Omega is awesome. I've, I've really liked his all in uh performance i I watched that pay-per-view the other or right i actually bought it that night and that was an awesome pay-per-view uh did you do made with tour company yeah tna have made a lot of mistakes over the years um i I don't even watch them anymore uh they used to be amazing um but yeah joshbearerartist.com please like share uh i was actually talking about uh terry excuse me who is a fan uh he's he follows me on everything. He's become a super fan. He's really awesome, and I really appreciate it. He uh, did two shout-outs to a couple of people on Twitter to help you know get some new attention to my work. Uh, and I think a couple other people have done that. I really appreciate it if you guys could keep up doing that. Again, it means more when fans are sharing an artist's work to somebody than the artist doing it himself. Uh, it shows that people care about that artist. They pay attention, and there's actually interest in his work. Um, so, and again, I'm not a person that goes pay attention to me, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. I'm not. I, I just don't like it. I just post my stuff. I do my thing. I do the artist weekly update, and hope for the best. Um, so yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Again, if you want to get the, if you're subscribed to this channel, you're already part of the mini print giveaway you're good if you want it to happen sooner get people to subscribe right now we're at 67 um there's math involved what 33 is that a good math that i do it right i i don't do math i paint pretty pictures i don't spell either so if you've noticed that i have horrible spelling and grammar it's because i paint pretty pictures that's it oh terry you're on here i'm like uh, it's been a long week i'm sorry terry um but I, thank you very much, Terry. I really appreciate that. Andy, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, it's very nice to at least have one or two people watching uh, the last couple of weeks. It's nice to talk, feel like I'm talking to people and not the camera. Uh, other than that, I will keep you guys posted on what happens at the Tom and Dan event. Um, what else? Would I, oh, one more thing. Uh, if you're uh, getting hit by the hurricane... This weekend, uh, I uh, my thoughts and prayers to you. I know it does not mean much. I, I really hate that saying. I don't know what else to say. I really hope you are okay. I hope you guys took it seriously um, and left. I know it downgraded a little bit as of this posting on uh, Thursday. Um, I hope your homes are okay. I hope everything can uh, go back to normal as soon as possible. Um, I experienced my first hurricane uh, last year with Irma and uh, we were out of power for four days and it sucked uh, my home was fine which was great uh, the power was rough because we were right in the middle of summer and it gets hot and you just you know you have to still function like a human being but everything's weird and off um, so my so as much as I can my support is with you um, I hope you are okay I hope your family's okay uh, and just 
once you get back home, it's going to be rough. It's going to be weird, especially if you don't have power. or We don't know how much the damage is going to do with this hurricane. Um, but just stay strong. Try to stay positive as best you can. Uh, your life is more important than your stuff. I can't even imagine losing all... I mean, look at all this stuff I have in here. I hope I never have to experience it, and I hope you don't either. Um, but stay strong, stay positive, and, uh, you know, it does get better. It does, you know, we're still here and there in Florida. We're still recovering a little bit from last year's hurricane. Um, but it, it just takes time, and then things get back to normal and get back into the order. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next week.